Hello, and welcome to the Darby Creek Diaries. I'm Gil Thompson, and I'm so glad that you stopped by today. This is going to be a little bit different. It's more of a process video. The card turned out beautiful, I think, but it didn't go the way it was planned many times. I've had this set on my desk for probably a year and a half, and I've been wanting to use it. Uh, it's got beautiful tulips in it, and with that, there were some masking stencils. And I thought, well, that, you know, we'll see what we can do with those. And so, join me with this process. Alta New is really good about giving you some directions and samples and inspiration. And some of those uh, cards that, that are on this pack, you can cut. And there it shows you how to layer everything. They're very, very good about that. But anyhow, on this pack, uh, they have some full-size cards you can imitate if you're just beginning. This is what the stencil set looks like. And that's great if you want to do a background and block off your flowers or whatever. I decided to try using one of those pre-made uh, inspiration cards. And I'm just showing you how everything kind of lines up there. Now, I use a sticky mat from, this is from Amazon, and I cut it down for my Misty. It's 11 bucks or something like that for three of these huge ones. So I think that's the best bang for your buck. So I trimmed it down to fit my Misty. Now the back of it isn't stuck down, so I still use a little bit of uh, repositionable tape or something. So with this uh, inspiration piece that I cut off of their directions, I'm just laying down the first layer of the tulips, which is gonna be the lightest layer and has the most coverage. Now I thought, well, I'll just try to put all of them in. Well, I can't because the stamp itself, even though the image would work, the stamp itself wouldn't fit. So I have to do it in two steps, no biggie. We'll just do a little at a time. And I'm going to kind of go through this kind of quick. Um, I flipped it over and put down a piece of cardstock and we're just going to ink up this le beginning layer of the tulips. Now I was a little, my uh, saltwater taffy, I don't know about you if you've gotten this uh, distress ink, but it was kind of, the pad was kind of dry. So I ordered a reinker, but for now, I'm just redoing it several times. Now it looks blotchy, but it will um, even out as it dries. So we're going for tulip number three here. Now making sure everything fits and stamping it down. And like I said, uh, you just I just had to kind of work with it as best I could. I don't, I just don't know what happened there. Um, but oh, I inked it later uh, when I got my rinker and all as well. So I was looking at the stencils thinking, oh, well, maybe you could use that to help line up. Well, you really can't because you can't pick up the stencil. Duh. So I just wanted to show you, I, I do dumb things all the time. So we just laid everything back down like I did on the first layer. And I'm going to just pick up the stamps and I'm going to use a little bit darker of an ink. I believe this is abandoned coral and just go ahead and I'm sorry it I can't believe it is off camera. There we go. There we go. And there's layer number two. Now if you look at layer number two carefully you're going to see that I did that little one upside down. But I really am not one to throw away anything. I, I don't know why I think my time is so valuable, but I just re I flipped it back up and did it again and it looks just fine. And we just went on with our card. So now we have the two layers and the poor little tulip bud there. Well, buds are temp typically darker than the flowers, so it, it worked out fine. Now we're gonna go for the, the greenery. And I'm just positioning this. I try to put as many things on as I could. Those little uh, stems are a little bit wily to work with, but we got it going. And I'm 
just double checking to make sure you want to make sure you shoved your uh, cards all back in that corner well so that everything winds up in the right place and see it's blotchy and I had a little trouble because the edge of my misty is a little taller so I had to push pretty hard but I got it no problem now I'm putting I put some uh, repositionable ink on the or tape on that little tulip and I'm using that part from the mask that way that little uh, tulip will not have a big old uh, stem in front of it and I'm just going to pick off that mask and well I guess I'm doing both both layers on that which was smart since it was already laying there do the light and the dark all at once. It's been a while since I made this video, so it took me a minute to figure out what it was I was doing. There we go. Now see that tulip? You would never know that that was upside down. So I just keep on trucking. And now we're putting the second green on. And I did notice later I sure could have used the masking stencil, and I will show you. Uh, but I kind of do things, you know, on a whim, just panicking on how I'm going to fix stuff. So this one was kind of hard to stamp because the edge of that misty is definitely higher. So I wind up figuring this out. I mean, I, I knew it. I just didn't act on it. And we're going to just stamp it and then I'm going to go, oh. Wow, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> so I move up the card, and I take a piece of just acetate, any acetate, because I I knew that stamp wasn't gonna be clean, and I just realigned it on that acetate so it wouldn't mess up my card. And we're just gonna pick up stamp again and ink it, and then there we go. All is well. This wasn't, if you, if you remember the song, Tiptoe Through the Tulips, well, this was more of a triptoe through the tulips. I just uh, kind of went from one thing to the next. Now, the second layer of the green has uh, the detail on it. And if you look on the left, you're going to see that I was off just a hair. So keep that in mind, but I'm going to finish up lining this up and there we go and that that turned out pretty well but now I've got to go over to the left little uh, leaf there and this is a spot where I should have used the mask stencil because that would have made it a whole lot safer I did uh, I just this is one of those detail sticks from Ranger and I just kind of filled in, um, but I have to do the edge here in a second, and I want to show you how I did that. But now we're going on to the third and final layer, um, our tulips, and the um, color is Candied Apple Distress. I used all Distress inks for this. There we go, lining it up against their original piece there. Flipping it over, making sure it works, and then going ahead and getting that, made sure to get it shoved in the corner, and then doing our third layer on our tulips. Then just lining up our third tulip and doing the same thing. However, with this one, I'm off a little. If you notice up there, the top edge is there's a little bit of a blank. So I took some of the uh, abandoned coral and uh, I'm just painting it in with a little paintbrush and no one would ever be the wiser. But once again, this would have been a great spot to use that stencil to make sure that you don't get out of the lines. Um, down on the big green stem there at the bottom, I did get out of the lines a little bit, 
And here I would have used this stencil again, but I kind of forgot about it. Now I'm just using a little uh, impression tool because it's got a really tiny ball on the end of it. And I'm using the ink to fill in where I missed it. Now I'm pulling it off this really sticky surface. So bend the grid because otherwise your paper is going to bend and then you'll have to flatten it all out. So bend the uh, adhesive there. And since that was even a thinner piece of cardstock, it did kind of warp, but it's fine. That's just our example. Next, I decided that I wanted to use some, some kind of a fun border. So I have the hemmed, hem stitched rectangles from Spellbinders. And for the sentiment, I used a Happy Easter die cut that I have no idea when or where I got it. So I have a similar one linked below. And the easiest way to kind of do these little tiny doodads is to put it back in the spot that you die cut and stack it there. And that keeps it everything from moving around. And then I love this glue in their little needle tool. I start, and I stamp the, or die cut the third layer out of gold mirror. And now I'm just laying things around seeing the lay of the land there. I decided that it was just a little plain and I didn't want to color in the whole background, uh, although you could. Uh, so I'm just flicking a little bit. You always want to flick like the secondary color that you used on the card and the third level. Well, there's no takesies backsies. I think I kind of uh, overdid that one. Also used gold leaf there. Now I am just going to layer up my card and I want a little sliver of a white border all the way around. And I always eyeball things, so <laughs> I'm a little slow. And then just, I'm gonna glue my top layer there. And here is our final project. I really think it turned out great, even though, yeah, maybe a little too much splatter, but hey, it's handmade, not Hallmark. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, that you'll like and subscribe and come back and see me and follow me on all of the social media. I'd love to, to talk with you. And I'm going to leave a couple of videos here until next time. Bye-bye.